Hello everyone, welcome to Wiggy channel. So in this video, I'll take you through the different settings uh, for the gameplay, which is Rainbow Six Siege. Unfortunately, I did not, uh, I could not install the GTA 5, uh, although I have uh, the GTA 5, but then the size would run over 100 GB. So what I did was to bring you guys another gameplay uh, from uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, the temperatures uh, you can see here uh, is pretty cold without uh, uh, yet running the game. It is at 29 to 31 degrees Celsius for CPU and for GPU it is 28 degrees Celsius. It is calm and cool. Uh, and the fans are not being run. And uh, before I launch the game, I want to uh, remind you that there is only one heat dissipation for this uh, entire laptop. For this uh, size, I think uh, there should have been more than one. So when uh, at times when the fan would run high, uh, so a lot of heat would uh, dissipate from the one side. So considering that the temperatures would go, uh, would run uh, very high uh, and you have to bear that in mind. So without any wasting time, let's uh, launch the game. As you can see, the CPU fan being run a little bit at 0 to 20 RPM varying there. And the temperature for uh, AMD's uh, Radeon R5 M430 is at 32 degrees Celsius. So once the game begins, uh, you can see the 60 frames per second at the lower left uh, bottom of the corner. Uh, so 60 frames per second. And I had ran this uh, game at 1360 by 768, but the monitor resolution was uh, still at 1920 by 1080p. So considering that 60 frames per second, uh, while you launch the game is uh, pretty commendable for a uh, graphics card of uh, this league so moving to the settings and option as you can take a look at here uh, the overall quality is uh, set to medium and everything is uh, set to default for the medium setting the texture quality uh, that is what uh, takes the memory high and the resolution is 1360 by 768 as I told you earlier and as you can uh, uh, take a glimpse at the video memory there 1196 MB out of 2039 MB is being used by the M430 at the lower right bottom of the corner you can check the video memory I would like I, I would suggest you to leave a little bit of room for the video memory to run it uh, smoothly once the game starts it is still maintaining at 60 frames per second although uh, once everything gets crowded in the game so it will uh, uh, dip down to 26 to 30 frames per second varying uh, considering the situation in the gameplay if you, there is a lot of uh, things going on in the gameplay so then obviously it will uh, reduce to 27 28 frames per second but still the 30 frames per second uh, is quite playable and I ran this game game for over an hour and I did not have uh, uh, any issues playing with it. There was absolutely no stutter while in gameplay. And after uh, playing the game, uh, what I did was to immediately check the temperatures. And uh, as you can pretty much guess that the temperatures would run to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius without, uh, without taking a toll on the uh, graphics performance. Uh, but considering only one heat dissipation, this is quite commendable for what you have paid. Uh, so if you are looking for the still graphics related performance, I would suggest you to look for the a NVIDIA say 920MX or uh, 930 or 940MX version of the laptops, uh, which I have uh, uh, given links of those laptops in the description of my previous video if I haven't uh, checked it out. So. That's it for this video. I hope this was uh, helpful and gave you some insight of how the gameplay would look on the HP AY 503TX laptop. I hope this video was helpful enough to uh, decide. And one more thing, if you are playing GTA 5, uh, it is pretty much playable at low to mid uh, medium settings because this game here requires more than what would uh, require for the GTA 5. I mean the configuration. So considering all of that, uh, GTA 5 is definitely playable on this laptop is what I can conclude. So if this video was helpful, please leave like uh, and subscribe for more content to come. Thanks for watching. See you all in another video. Bye bye.